Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. This portion of the news is brought to you by Children's Dentistry of Pahrump, specializing in sedation dentistry, now accepting adult patients. Call now for free IV sedation with dental implant, 751-2184. And welcome back to News 46. The U.S. Air Force Weapons School hosted the Joint Forcible Entry Exercise today over the Nevada Test Site and Training Range. The U.S. Air Army 82nd Airborne Division's 3rd Brigade Combat Team from Fort Bragg, North Carolina, will make the trip to combine the U.S. Air Force Special Tactics Team's contingency response groups and members of the 820th Red Horse in the U.S. Air Force Weapons School biannual collaboration that exercises the Air Force's ability to tactically deliver and recover combat forces via airdrops and combat landings in a contested environment. And the Pahrump Rotary donated $550 to J.G. Johnson Elementary School for a project. The kids got busy this morning hammering, sawing, and gluing to actually build their own lap desks. We are making lap desks, for one for every kid at J.G. Johnson. What is a lap desk? I can show you if that would be easier. This is just a rough cut I made from scrap wood. Uh, it's basically a 16 by 16 piece of plywood with a pencil tray. You can see that. has a cushion on the back so they can set it on their lap and a kid has a play portable desk to take wherever they'd like to go to do their homework. Lucy, how do you like the lap desk? It's a good project. It's, it's fun. So have you been having fun building it? Yes, very. Are you going to use this at home? How'd you guys like building the lap desk? It was awesome. It was... Uh, it was cool. So what is this like for you to teach these kids how to build these? Well, first of all, it helps them learn how to build and how they can succeed in the future with building something maybe and to see what happens after that, right? What are you hearing from the kids? That they're having fun and they're like cool and all that great stuff. So it's good. You guys do these projects at Home Depot with children quite often. Workshops, right. right. We have that uh, clinics we have or uh, kids workshops where they come out uh, I believe it's every Saturday of the weekend or the week, and uh, they come out, build things, and have fun. They seem really excited about uh, doing this project. Well, how did you guys think about it? Well, I have one that I use uh, every day when I grade papers at home on the sofa, uh -huh. and uh, and I was just thinking that um, kids nowadays they they don't have a whole lot of hands-on yeah. measuring, uh, whether it be weight or whether it just be inches. And uh, I thought that'd be a great project to do. It was a little difficult to try and formulate how to do such a big project. But then uh, the Rotary Grant came along, and I knew that if I put it together with other teachers, like other third grade teachers for a whole entire grade level, I might be able to pull that off. So I got together with the other third grade teachers, which is uh, Miss Dennis and Miss Mercadante and Miss Warren. And uh, we put it together and we, we awarded the grant. Uh, which was uh, $550, which was a really great start. And then uh, we were also went to Walmart, who gave us an additional 150 for the textile portion of the grant. So I went to Home Depot as well, and Home Depot has donated manpower, some supplies, and, and tools. And the tool portion of this was such a huge help because what I had written into that grant for tools, I didn't have to purchase anymore because they supplied the tools. So I was able to purchase um, additional supplies so I could make more lap desks. Governor Brian Sandoval has signed Assembly Bill 231, which allows county commissioners to fill vacancies on town boards. Previously, the governor's office made the appointments. In the past, there were sometimes delays in getting the governor to fill the vacancies. And tomorrow, both local Subway sandwich shops will celebrate Customer Appreciation Day. Manager Stacy Bibby invites everyone to stop by and enjoy the festivities. Well, this Saturday, there's an event here at the Subway on Highway 372, as well as the one in Walmart. It's Customer Appreciation Day. We're going to speak to Stacy. We wanted to do something nice for the people of Pahrumps, so we're having our footlongs are $3.99, all of them but the Supremes. 
and then to add a chip and a drink will be a dollar to add that and then you get a free cookie along with it so there's no limit um, we're also doing a raffle and we're going to um, raffle off two platters um, one is at both stores we're giving away that it'll be 20 people are going to receive two six inch sandwiches for free mm -hmm. and then the grand prize is um, a six inch value meal mm -hmm. for one per week for a year. Tell me the two locations that you have for Subway. Um, we have the one located on 372 mm -hmm. um, not far from 160 and then there's one on 160 inside Walmart. You guys have kind of like monthly deals right? Right every month we have a five dollar foot long mm -hmm. and um, with every month also comes new promotions, new sandwiches sometimes. Um, this month we have the bar um, barbecue chicken and we'll be continuing that through the next month so we have some new specials coming out next month so you have to come in and see. Speaking of platters you guys um, also you know for parties. Yeah especially for graduation um, or for any you know birthdays or any holidays that you have we have the three and six foot subs um, we make them in three foot portions so it's easier to get them in and out of your car because six feet's a little big. Um, we braid the bread and make them fresh for you and then we have our catering platters, which has five foot longs on it, and it's a pretty good deal for you. There you go. This Saturday, once again, the date um, is June 1st, but yes. what's the time? Um, 11 to 2. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be, as long as you're in line by 2, we're going to go ahead and serve you. Okay. Once again, come on by to Customer Appreciation Day, which is this Saturday, June 1st. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Ms. Perump 2012 Sabrina Mon recently visited two local schools with her great aunt who has published her first book. Sabrina Mon, who is Ms. Perump 2012, visited both Manns Elementary and J.G. Johnson Elementary schools recently. She went with her court, Emily Strange, who is the first attendant, and her second attendant, Melanie Ladinsky. And a special guest, Melly Vigorin, who is a children's book author of the Bikini Zoo Review, which was illustrated by Sabrina. They held an assembly for the entire student body and were enthusiastically applauded following the presentation. Sabrina's Miss Perrup community platform for her reign is children's literacy education, and this is how she's helping bring awareness of the importance of reading to children here in Perrup. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. And when we come back from this break, find out if there's a change in your utility bills. Keep it right there.